Hello, we're going to just do a quick tutorial video on how to uh, create our uh, marble maze that we have over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on create space. We're going to create a merge cube space. And you can see there's our merge cube right there. And the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to put down a couple items from the library. So let's click on library down on the corner. Let's go over to brick wall right here. We're going to drag that out. We're going to put a brick wall right there. And then I'm just going to click on the little arrow on the end here, and I'm going to go to ellipsoid. And I'm going to pull that out and put the ellipsoid right there as well. And I'm just going to click on library again to close it up. And let's get started. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the brick wall. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Um, and then I'm going to bring it up to the position I want it by just clicking and dragging it. And I'm just going to click on my trackpad or the left button on my mouse. I'm just going to rotate a little bit to this uh, side here. Okay, I might click on this little arrow on the bottom and squish it a bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the ball. I'm just going to bring it through. And I'm just going to click and use my trackpad just to rotate it a bit. You can see it's not sitting on the the uh, cube there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm also going to click on snapping up here because I don't like the 0.25 uh, snapping on right now. So I'm going to turn that off and make things a little bit smoother. Okay, so let's now click on our cube. I'm going to two finger click the cube on my trackpad or right click if you have a mouse. I'll click on name and we're just going to call it uh, plat for platform. Click using code blocks. I'm going to click back on name. I'm going to click on physics. I'm going to turn physics on, and I'm going to click set static on right there. Okay, so make sure you have those both on. Okay, let's go over to the ball. Same thing, two finger click or right click if you have a mouse. Click on name. I'm going to call this ball. I'm going to click using code blocks. I'm going to click on physics down below, and we're going to turn that on. And I'm going to turn the bounciness up just a little bit. Turn the friction off, and there we go. Okay, what we want to do is do a little bit of code now. We want this brick uh, cube to push the ball up in the air because if you remember in the game that's sort of the first thing you want to do. So I'm going to click on code in the corner. I'm going to click on code blocks. Um, now before I do anything I'd like you to click on this little down arrow here and um, let's just rename it and we're going to call this uh, plat for platform and move. So this is the platform moving script that we're going to be using right here. It's good to name them up on the top because you might get like, well you can go up to five so you want to make sure you name them so you don't get confused. And we're going to do one more tiny little script here. Click on the plus, click on script, and all you're going to do is you're going to type in this line right here and that just sets the physics to true. You will need to do that. So you can pause the video now and just make sure you type that in exactly as it is here. Okay, all right, I'm going to go back to this, uh, this script area right here, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a bit bigger. It's a little bit small, so I'm going to click on this little square. I'm going to go down to events, which is this uh, yellow part right here. I'm going to pull out when, uh, not ball, when platform is clicked. When the platform is clicked, I want the platform to move up. So I'm going to click on transform. It's this blue one with all the arrows. I'm going to click on scale. I'm going to click on position, I'm going to click on rotation, and I am going to grab this one. It says move. It's the second one down. I'm going to click it in there. I'm going to click on platform because I want the platform to move up. And let's just try up. Now, this isn't always going to be the direction you think it is. You might have to play around. And I'm going to try 0.1 seconds to make it move up fast. Okay, so just make sure you have the script code that I have here and the platform code here. And let's click play, and there we go, pretty cool. It actually moves up and down. Now, obviously, in the, the next thing we want to do is when you click this up, we want a platform under here that you pull over that it will slide down on. So I'm gonna leave that up to you, and hopefully this is giving you a bit of a better idea about how to start to create a little game of your own. Good luck.